Alright, chapter 2, 7.31 p.m. Yeah, who, I, who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions, the man who ordered my murder. Yeah, at the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting, it's all so sudden, I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Uh-oh. Oh, his skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Oh, I have already taken the next step. Alright, another assassin, I guess. The best thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. Oh, put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> oh, this oddly refined music. Yeah, these people are assassin. Yeah, that red-headed woman's another of their target. Oh, that file the whole man has. Oh, maybe he'll give me some information. Right, come on. We could not read the, the note earlier. Now's our chance. Uh, ah, no! God damn it! <gasps> oh, how much longer, my good man? Oh, we are charging up our backup power now, sir. Okay. So, what's gonna happen in half an hour? Oh, confound that Jigo, I say. Oh, his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. I mean, I'm sorry, but he's not getting an XP envelope. Oh, my, it's just glasses in his envelope. Alright, come on. I want to see what's in the note. Oh, I can't read it when it's closed. I mean, we saw you open the thing. Oh, the file reared up and snap at me. Oh, funny it bit your head off. Oh, I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lin, is no longer a threat, sir. Ah, so that's her name. Oh, it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Okay, so we're baiting in the spy thriller now. Wait, this phone is not even connected to anything, so hey. Like, how is it even working? Also, no, this is not. Uh, this is nothing to do with the uh, the Ace Attorney universe. Yeah, the phone and I got put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Lin. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where is here? Yeah, and who are these people? All right, I guess time to figure it out the hard way. Oh, you're trying to give me a case of the vapors? Oh, my apologies, sir, but I did not touch it. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning. It's like this guy is so nonplussed by our ghost tricks. Oh, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. Oh, may I suggest this? Uh-oh. Here we are. Hmm, yes, Sissel. 
If all goes well with our deal tonight, we'll have the power to change the world, sir. Oh, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. This is why we can't afford to trust that Cecil. We must be very careful. Okay, so the amnesia is not uh, the amnesia subplot have not lasted very long. I mean, we still have to figure out what exactly we were doing, but hey, at least we have a name. All right, we're completely prepared for tonight, sir. So these are huge ass grapes, like what the fuck? <gasps> oh, and they're also growing back too. Alright, these villains seem to know me. And another thing. Oh, there be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Okay, so we figured something else, but we still have to escape. Okay. So yeah, we need to interact with the things sometime whenever they're moving. Like here. Yeah. I told you I don't wish to see this face! Well then, maybe you should feel the guilt. Oh, there appears to be another malfunction, sir. I'll get it fixed unless you want to see me malfunction! And I'm not talking about my boner incident. Yeah, these guys murdering me and now they're targeting the redhead. Like that game, Red Dead Redemption. This room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good men! What with paintings spinning around and the likes, enough to give a man the jitters! Oh, my apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, and that means it's haunted. Yeah, how am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Well then, get stuffed with grapes then. And yeah, there we go, we get our phone back. It's a miserable state of affair when I can't, e can I can't even be startled by a telephone that doesn't ring! Yeah, it's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. Bah! Oh, problem must be solved, sir. The mislin problem, sir. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you didn't mention taking the next step a moment ago. Oh, I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. Telephone call must be him reporting in. Yep, he's in danger again. Warning, that's gonna be uh Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm at the apartment I'm at the target's apartment now. Yeah, out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? Nope, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. The target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division. But no, man! Now you're getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great, Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it! You're hanging up one step ahead! So yeah, we've got another phone, and yep, Lin's apartment. Oh, he asked me to raise his salary. Oh, what will you do, sir? 
Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Jigo's pee. I mean, yeah, you can give it to him because it's not as if Jigo has any pee anymore. Alright, so now let's call Apartment Busters. Still don't know where we were, but hey. Uh, oh no. Yeah, Lin is not here, but the Hitman is. Couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me. Hmm. Yeah, looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. Yeah, man, an even unluckier little doggy. Yep. <laughs> Tout le monde joue à Ghost Trick et ça me va très bien. Yep, same. How you doing? <laughs> Poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. Yeah, Flynn came home now. Alright, I have to do something about this situation and fast. I mean, let's start uh, with the essential. Oh, more to the point. Who am I? Easy there, not everybody, Steve. We're working on the doggo. Yeah. Who am I? Are you talking to me? Oh, do you see anybody else around here? Yep, the dead don't have voices. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. Alright, this is your mistress apartment, and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died, so I'm dead, eh? Yeah, that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Dead who forgot who they are. Oh! Right, there's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! Yeah, you remember? You know who you are? Yep, that's right! I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! I'm a Pomeranian! Well... I guess now it's... I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memory. Thanks to this little doggy! Yeah, Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her! But I died before I could rescue her! How could I let her down like this? Oh, you're more worried about your mistress' safety than your own debt, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Alright. Time to save... Uh, whoops, time to save this is life! Whoops, there's a little typo here. Oh, well. Alright, Maison d'Amida, room 701, four minutes before death. Alright, I better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but... Where exactly are we? Yep, you followed me? I followed you, you brought me with you, one or the other. Yeah, the dead can move around together. And the dead can dance. Yeah, the land of four minutes before your death. Oh, we're really here? So that means you're gonna save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Oh, aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. I mean, that's also the way my mind works. I mean, that will explain a lot. 
Okay, let's watch your last four minutes and we use what we learned to save Camilla. Oh, alright, we ought to be, be able to get a few leads. Alright, of course! Alright, leave it to me to sniff out a few clues! Supposed to bark. Lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. Yeah, if it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. Yeah, what a gentle woman. Why do you like to bark so much anyway? Oh, sure, cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Oh. Wait, uh, you really wanted to... How are you supposed to watch TV from over there? I know it's 2D and all, but uh, no, the inside uh, the inside placement doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'll listen to music. Whew, that was close. the mood for donuts tonight yeah I don't know I'm kind of in the mood for donuts too as well we can barely hear the mo the, the barking you freaking inconsiderate lady really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop crop up I have to put it down as a separate charge and accounting never likes that but I guess it can be helped sorry kid Dead. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Let's get started on saving her. I mean, there's gonna be no witnesses. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Alright, the easiest way will be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is... Welcome! I can't help it! Well, I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself. Oh, I don't think she could do that. You notice her putting those red things on her head? Oh, you mean the headphones. Whenever she put those red things on, that's it! I can call her a name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me! To be perfectly honest, I HATE THOSE RED THINGS! Hmm, you're right. Yeah, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know what we have to do about something about that. Alright, trick time. Alright, that's where we start. Okay, so far it doesn't look as if we can do a whole lot. The phone, or the umbrella, or the door. Yeah, in fact, yeah, what happens if we try to dial? Oh, this telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. The telephone line glows red, but it's dark. 
Yeah, I can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before that world. Okay. Yippee, found the remote! Alright, can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing around watching. Alright, that intruder in black will be entering in four minutes. My ghost trick can only get me so far. All right, get rid of anything that might get in the way. Uh-huh. I wonder what they're possibly talking about. So we can't even possess the headphones somehow. That's actually kind of weird. Yeah, what happens if we do that? Uh-huh. Yep, so close! You almost knocked those red things down! If we drop them in the fish tank, Camilo won't be able to use them anymore, but I uh, think Lynn's gonna be mad. Yeah, Miss Camilo will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. Oh, all you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. As far as we can scroll. Hmm? Wait, is it really down? Because, uh, hold on a second. Alright, and Twitch is hopefully back. So, alright, let's be back on this. Uh-oh, alright. This isn't good. Yeah, Miss Camilo is gonna put those red things on her head. Yeah, once we, when she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. But hey, if you remember, she was pretty clumsy. So, all right, let's see. Oh no, darn! How did I manage to do that? And just bought those headphones, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Oh, I can't even listen to music, either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Yep. Forgive me, Miss Camilo, I'm only doing it to save you! Oh, now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Eh? No, never mind that! Yeah, the important thing is we managed to change the situation! So yeah, now we can use the little ladies here to help us. Oh yeah, fate change! I don't know why we get extra time, but uh, hey, that's, uh, that's the way it is. Okay, right, I'm in the mood for donuts. Okay, what do we do now? But yeah, unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, why don't we hide, Miss Camilla? Yeah, that sounds like the kind of idea little doggy will come up with. In front of me! Oh, well, where could a little he lady hide in this room? Alright. Oh, if I could possess Camilo herself, the answer would be easy. Alright, so we have to find a way to get her under the couch. I'll be here watching, cheering you on! Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so now, okay, what happens if we open the door? Oh my, an actual missile. Oh yeah, you send that thing flying. Oh, I like to keep things tidy. <laughs> oh, and I like to bark at things that move. If you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall is gonna come down on our heads. Oh, you protect me if anything bad happens, right, Miss Hill? Of course I will! Oh, that's quite a big promise for a little fellow. Oh, that'll be poor little guys up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. give your mistress so much trouble oh I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior oh, but when the little guy starts squeaking it gets me all in an uproar and when I bark Miss Camilo always comes over and gives me a nice hug uh, we might be able to take advantage of that piece of information Yeah, whenever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. Oh, that's just the way things work. Alright, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. But so far, all that it's done is go all the way out the door. So, what else can we do? Oh, where'd the donut go? Okay, now what the, if we rock this thing? Uh-oh. We don't have any more donuts! Yep, I can't make another donut fall. Yeah, what do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Okay, it looks like only one donut will fall. But the donut's the only bait. Yep, sadly we wasted it. So yeah, maybe I should retake my plan of attack. So yeah, unfortunately we locked ourselves. So we are gonna have to go back in time. But hey, at least there are checkpoints, so therefore, if you fuck up, uh, you can actually, you know, try another method. So yeah, the donuts are not gonna do a thing for us if we rock it whenever it's on the left. So let's try and rock it at the right this time. Where the donuts go? But yeah, alternatively, we can also check out the rest of the apartment. Let's say there's not a whole lot uh, available, so... Alright, what if we rock it this time? Oh, alright. Okay. under here you silly boy oh my little missile you're always doing the cutest things oh yeah my priest bound to come home sometime might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Yeah. 
Yep, there we go! Our little lady train has been averted! Yeah, in the scheme of thing, I'd say she's just fine. Look, you're not dead! Oh, you're right, we did it! We did it, we, didn't we? We did it! Oh, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Eh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yup. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? Yeah, you protected your mistress, I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you! Oh yeah, can I ask a question? Alright, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, my ghost trick. Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. Oh, if they're ghost trick, then can I do them too? I'm dead at two after all. Oh, I guess. Oh, I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me! I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Alright, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Okay, not everybody who dies get the power of the dead. Alright, what's gonna happen to me now? Yeah, nothing. Your death's been erased. Just go back to being a happy little doggy living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But... We'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe. If you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it! Alright, let's go back to the present. Alright, a new present is born. Yeah, Star Wars 15, a new present. Yeah, the little doggy's wagging his tail happily. Alright, what am I gonna do now? I think I'll watch and see what happens. Still at the junkyard? Alright, got it. I'm on my way. I guess my pre likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. Now he's just very dedicated to his craft. What was that all about? Yeah, you saved me, didn't you, Miss L? I just know you did! Oh, maybe I shouldn't answer it. In case it's another assassin. Oh, Lin! Oh, alright. Better get involved in this. Call from Lin, eh? Sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. That little doggy all curled up on the floor. Oh, dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. Yeah, that's right. The, 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 now the doggy has a core. Yeah, what? what will a living and breeding doggy be doing with a core? Alright. Let's possess him. Oh, it's a. Uh, Oh, come to think of it, I never did ask you your name. So yeah, it's a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves. Oh, you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye. 
I miss it! But you know, it's strange. Wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Uh, do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it! Okay, the memory of being dead does not disappear. The dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess the core, I can talk to that person. Alright, can, can we see anything else? Oh, that cameo, it never fails. Oh, what never fails? Oh, every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. Okay. I think you're having a little abandonment issues here. No matter how much I run around and show up, she never even glances at me. Oh, that was you showing off, eh? Alright, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I. Alright. Let's go and figure it out. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You've got to get out of here right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back here for a while. And you might be in danger if you stay here too. Oh, I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead end drive. I don't know. That sounds a little too on the nose. But one more thing. Bring the music box with you. Oh, I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't play. I can't get the lid open. Oh, you can't very well call it a music box. More like a box. All right, just bring it. It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Alright, where is it? Oh, I kinda hid it in the room you're in. Oh no, it's the new Twitter executive. Oh no. Whoops. We're trapped in here. Oh, how about if we tell her you did it, mister? I sure hope Lynn's alright. Better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, mister? Help me look, okay? I mean, at least now there's not an assassin involved, so I... Yep, the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that will happen? Yeah, looks like our little lady's a bit of a klutz. Next thing you know, she'll drop that poor doggy in the tank. Something's happening to Lynn. Better help Camilo find her treasure. I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Okay, alright. Missile, do you know what a, um, what a music box is? Alright, it's your chance to shine. What do you mean? Can you really help her out right now with that great nose of yours? Oh, you're right! I didn't think of that! So what kind of smell should I be looking for? Oh, uh, I don't really know. Oh. Hey, come on, you can't expect me to do everything for you. Spoiler, we're gonna do everything. I don't feel too bad about it. Oh, I'm being consoled by a dog. Oh, whoops. I startled them. Oh well. They're not gonna think too much about it. Fine. Oh, the, the, the cart move! Oh, anyway, here's Wonderwall. Like, there's definitely a thing that looks like a music box up there, but we can't quite reach it. What if this thing rotates faster? Oh, 
Yep, there we go. Oh, I can't find that silly old music box anywhere. Oh, she was going to scream, she should have done it after she told me where the music box was. Oh, it's cute the way she keeps looking in the same places over and over. There must be some way I can help her. Yep. It's like, even though it's at a uh, high uh, placement and everything, now she still doesn't notice it. We still need to do a little something. First, let's lower that speed. Alright. Hopefully that, that will make it visible. Yep. So even with all of that, she didn't notice it. Like, come on. There is being a klutz and then there's this. Yep. Da -da -da -da. You got a music box. It does something. Oh, don't you touch it, missile. The TV comes on, you'll start barking. I need to find you flat underneath that wall when I came when I came home. Uh, whoops. That's another little typo here. Alright, I'm leaving now, missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? All right, you be good while I'm away. No barking. Nope, no barking. Yep, so no peace for the little lady. I can just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. Question is, how do I get out of here? So yeah, new illustration, new song, and let's save.